In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically add a custom post in the timeline for any model driven app. In this example, I'm using customer service hub application. So I'm in Dynamics 365 customer service hub application and I'm in one of the case record. So I've just opened one case record and I have I'm in the timeline section. Now, what I meant by is automatic post is in the timeline wall section, you will see that for this particular record, whenever a case was created, system automatically posts this information along with the time. When a case gets assigned to someone, system automatically posts this information. When a case gets added to the queue, when a case gets reactivated or when a case gets closed, all this information get posted automatically by the timeline. Now, why would you like to have your own custom thing? Now, it can be for any record. Now, this is only specifically while a account gets created or when an assignment changes. But what if you have a custom field like cars application ID over here or maybe a subject information? If something changes over here, I want this information to be posted in the timeline as well. So how do we go ahead and do that? Now, by default, in the configuration panel, you will not see all these custom scenarios. Now, it is quite limited. Now, in order to view what all things are supported from a case entity, what you need to do, you need to click on this clock icon, go to the advanced setting, and from here, under settings, you will see activity feeds configuration and activity feeds rule. If you go to activity feeds rule, you will come to know that for a case, only for these scenarios, the record will get posted in the timeline. Now, it can be a case creation process for an account or a contact, case closure for an account or a contact, case assignment to a user or a team, case routing to the queue, merging of case, case reactivation or parent association to a case. Now, apart from the scenario, there might be other scenarios as well. You might have a custom field or you might want to use some existing field behavioral change. Now, how do we go ahead and get those information posted in the timeline. So what you need to do, you need to make use of Power Automate. So let's build the logic. Now I'm in this case table. Now, if a new case gets created, then what should happen is say, take for example, if I'm creating this new case, so I'm just call it as case 001 and I'll attach the mandatory field, which is a customer record and I'll click on save then what happens is in this timeline, if I refresh this, it should add a record which says case creation uh, by the system. Okay. Now, what I've done over here, if you go into the post rule configuration, it says case closed, uh, case new case for an account is inactive. So that means I have turned off this behavior. I don't want this uh, new case creation record to be entered in the timeline by the system, but I should have my own format, okay? Now, how it will look, I'll just show you in a different record. So earlier when it was enabled, just go to this record. Let me put a new to older and maybe just show you this record, okay? So in this record, as you see over here, I have put text 222. Now, how this has come, this has come by uh, using Power Automate. Now, this is what we are going to demonstrate, okay? Now, if you create a case, now we have created a case using an account record. Let's create a case using contact record. So when I say contact record, means the customer is a contact. Now here, instead of selecting account, I will select contact and I will just save this record. Now, if you see over here in the timeline, it will add a statement called as case created by Girish for contact Alex Wilbur. Why it is visible is because case creation, new case for a contact is active. However, for an account, it is disabled. Now, new case for a contact, what I'm going to do is like, I don't even want this statement when a new contact is created from the system. I'm going to deactivate this. I'll just deactivate this record. 
because I don't like the format of how it is created. I want something else. So what to do? We know the scenario. The scenario or the event is basically case creation. So when a case is created, then I will put my fancy statement. So, so in Power Automate, I'm going to create an automated cloud flow and I'll call this as post create case record creation. So when a case record is created, then I want to submit a post. Here the trigger is readables. So I'll say when a row is added, modified or deleted. I'll go to the new designer. And here, what, what is getting changed? It is like something is getting added. What is getting added? A case is getting added. So when a case is created, then I want the post to be submitted. So in the scope, I'll select organization. And this is where the trigger lies. Now in new step, what we are going to do, we are going to add a record in the Dataverse. Now I select Microsoft Dataverse and I'll say add a new row, but where, which table? Now, if you go in the backend, if you go to make.powerapps.com and if you start searching for post, then you will see two tables over here, post configuration and post rule configuration. Now, these are configuration information for a specific entity or a record items, but there is no table called as post over here, okay? But that post table can be accessed using Power Automate. So when you say add a new row, if you type in POSTS, then you will see this table. This table is not visible in the backend. If I click on post, then it will list down some other information. So let's fill one by one. What I want is I want is some text to be added into the wall. Now the source is either an, it is an auto post, manual based or a action hub post. So we will pick up everything, okay? We will pick one by one. So when I pick auto post here, you can see that there is two item text text now both are mandatory now here the first one you can just skip you can just put test in it okay but this text is important the second one here you can put whatever text you want to be posted in the timeline so let me say uh, uh, a case has been created by our agent and you can put, say, any function attached to it. So maybe you just want to see the date time. You know, you'll just put a UTC now and then you can rightly format and you can say format date time. And you can say UTC now and then you can give some format to it. Okay, so let me give me uh, give a long format. So that's G and I'll just say, okay. Okay, so this is how you have created this. Now, under type, you can have check-in, idea, news, private message, question, repost, status. I didn't find any difference in it. We can pick and choose whatever you want. I will just put, put in check-in, okay? So only this is important. A case has been created and the source is important. Auto post, manual post, and action hub post. Now, this is an example of an auto post. So I've selected auto post. And now you need to specify which record are you going to attach this to, this post. This post, you're going to attach it to a case record. Now, in order to attach it to a case record, what you need to do, you need to use, make use of that API and you need to specify which regarding entity. Okay, so regarding entities cases. Now, how do we find out which record? Okay, so for that, what we need to do is you need to go into the table you need to start searching for case the case is that table go inside that case table and what you can do is under tools copy the set name copy the set name the set name is basically that set name for that particular table now here just put a slash forward slash and paste it now the set name for the case record is incidents and then put a slash and then 
you can take a reference of this record because when a, this record is created, then you want that post to be linked to that. So for that, we will make use of dynamic content. And here I will just type the unique identifier of the case. Now the unique identifier of the case is by this item. That's it. And I think we should be good with this. So a case has been created by our agent with the format date time should be displayed. So let's try that out. Now here, when a new case is created, then let me call it as case 00A. Now let attach it to either any of the account or contact. So let me attach it to the contact. I'll click on save. Let's see what happens in the timeline. So let me refresh the timeline. Nothing has come. If nothing comes in, then you need to go into your Power Automate and check what's happening in the backend. Now, if you see here, this is reflected now. So it says a case has been created by our agent. This is the UTC time and that's it. So what we have done, we have successfully created a custom post and the post type is of auto post, right? So if I click on timeline over here, which is a bit of an expanded view, here, if you select on three dots, and if I say display layout as roomy, then you can see this icon over here, right? So if you see this, this is a robot icon, right? It's a bot icon. So this is an auto post, okay? So it is represented like this. Now, what we can do, we can play around with the source. So source is auto post. Let me select it as manual post. And I'll click on save. Now, let me go ahead and create an, another record. New. And this time I'll call it as case 00P. And I can pick on any customer. And I'll click on save. Wait for some time. Till the time your flow gets executed and once it is done you should be able to see something in the timeline now as you see over here a case has been created by our agent now if you see this representation it is different than what it was earlier right for case 00a it was different but here why it is different because we have selected something called as manual post right and that's why the representation is different. Earlier, we saw a robot image. Now, if I select Action Hub Post and save it, then see the behavior for a new case record. So if I go to case and I'll say new case, case 00C, customer, and save it. Then go to the timeline. Click on refresh. Now, if you see, this is again completely different. Now you can see the robot over here, but then you have the setting kind of an icon over here. And it says a case has been created by our agent. You can view some more information over here. So we have seen three different representation. This is the third one. This is the third one. And if you want to see the other two information, so this is the first one which we saw. This is the first one. Then case 00B was the second one. This is how it is represented. Okay, and the third one was case 00C, which we just saw. So like that, uh, based on the configuration which you select from the source, either you can select Action Hub Post or Auto Post or Manual Post, based on that, the format changes. So the goal was basically to post our custom post if we do not want to use what is provided by the system this all things can be done in this particular text box the first text box i honestly don't know what the purpose is but the second text box will render your content now the second text box if you just hover your mouse it says shows the text of a post if this is a manual post it appears in plain text if this is an auto post it appears in xml okay so that's a bit of instruction which you have provided over here. Now you can attach this post to any number of item. Here I have attached it to a case record. 
Now you can attach it to an account record as well. You can attach it to knowledge article, insights, contacts, leads, swarms, users, uh, and you can do a whole bunch of things over here. This is how it is formatted in Microsoft Power Automate. Like that, you can post end records based on any of the scenario. Now, I have done it for a case edition. Now, you can do it for case modification and you can actually specify if, say, your custom column gets modified, then add a post record. So like that, based on your logic or based on your scenario, you can do that. So that's it, folks. This is how you basically add a custom post in Dynamics 365 customer service application using Microsoft Power Automate. Thanks for watching.